Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video where today we're gonna to watch Cardiff City versus Preston North End in the championship. Now, Cardiff, what a comeback against Leeds last week and you know how much we dislike Leeds, don't we? Because of the uh, recent rivalry we've had there with them. And what a comeback that was, 3-0 down, coming back to 3-3, beautiful stuff. Anyway, team lineup has just come out as well about 50 seconds ago. So we have Etheridge in goal, back for Peltier, Flint, Nelson and Richards. I have not, Bennett has been dropped by the looks of things, either that or he's injured. Then Pack and Bakuna in the middle, Mendes Lang, Tomlin and Josh Murphy in central attacking midfield. And then Robert Glatzel at front, of course, he came back into the squad last week and scored that beautiful goal. Meanwhile, on the bench, we've got Alex Smithies, Sol Bamba comes back in, hopefully he may get on today. Uh, Will Vokes, uh, Gavin White, Patterson, Mazine and Danny Ward. So, pretty alright team there. We could have a chance of getting a draw, but I don't know, I just don't feel confident about this game really because of how well Preston have been pl playing recently. And we always do dreadful against Preston, no matter what. I mean, our form is horrific against them, so what do you think? Uh, oh yeah, so... Once again, I'm joined by this man. Sub to his That's channel. City. Link in the description below. So, what do you think? Then? Uh, yeah, Preston North End currently third in the table. Of course, winning the last two games. I think they beat yeah. Luton two one last uh, last game fixture, and prior to that, I think it was a two one victory at home at, as well against Fulham. And, but before that, I think they were on a, a bit of a, a bad run. Some like four games losing, and I, I don't know if they actually scored in that. So, um, going away against Cardiff. So ho hopefully, we'll give them a torrid time. Uh, change of lineup I know we're coming into, into this very busy, busy period so the whole you know the whole squad is going to be used but surprised really to see Jazz Richard possibly um, at left back although Bennett his form hasn't been great maybe does need a little bit of a rest um, not even on the bench is he no um, it's sad that Rolls in in the squad at all today by the looks of it so uh, Bakuna, I think he might yeah. be still struggling with injuries I think so yeah but uh, Bakuna back in there love that Glatzel is back in the team although although when Medine came on last weekend he looked uh, he looked really good against Leeds so a little bit unlucky there that Medine isn't starting but uh, yeah good to see Glatzel there looking as always to see Tomlin what he can do this week maybe uh, some more deft touches and because uh, he really came to Cardiff rescue last weekend but uh, really looking forward to this game it's gonna be tough we know that uh, Preston's always a difficult game. Sean Maguire in particular is a Maguire, uh, standout performer. Yeah, Gallagher, yeah. I think. I think it's Billy Bowden, I think. Plays, was at one cap for Wales is in there. I think squad. so. So, um, yeah, tough task. My prediction for today, I've been thinking of this. I was thinking 1-1, but after that comeback against Leeds, as long as Cardiff start, you know, start quickly today and not... Um, what they've done in previous weeks start really slowly and have to fight to get back in this game if we can start quickly then we can get a, a victory today I'm, I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline to the Bluebirds in and hopefully um, and hopefully Josh Murphy can do something well not do something just like have the confidence we really need the crowd to get behind Murphy today I really want to see him to see him do well yeah completely agree with you there but I was going to say a draw as well, like you said, but we've got to stay confident in this. And after Leeds last week as well, where we have been proven that we can do it, I reckon it'll be 2-1. I think it'll be a 1-1 for the most of the game, and then we'll probably steal it in injury time, as we always do. Probably um, Glatzel and Tomlin to score, I imagine, today. Um, so, But anyway, enough of that. Let's just get on with it. Come on, City. Anyway, like, at least stick your 
flag up or something. Or do, like either give a corner or a throw in. <laughs> Just give anything. Idiot. So that's the end of the first half. Cardiff really picked up after uh, about 10 minutes, uh, getting loads of shots in. Lee Tomlin, very close to scoring as well as the other players as well. But while there are a lot of positives to that performance, we could improve on a lot, such as uh, the defending um, and midfield, so sort of stopping the balls, getting through the midfield into the defence, and then letting Preston in to have some good chances. But improve the defence, get more forwards and then hopefully we'll score uh, sooner, sooner or later, so what do you think? Yeah, very even match at the moment. Preston having some good chances for Cardiff as well, carving out one or two chances. I think the, the white men, Murphy and Mendesheim, really need to get into the game. We need to pull their socks up and, you know, just put the effort by up to 10% and we can get some. Bakuna's having a good game in the centre midfield. Pack needs to be, as I said in previous um, videos, needs to be a bit more dynamic. Defence strong, Jazz Richards doing okay, and um, Peltier is having a good game as well. But, uh, at the moment, I think I can see Gavin White coming on second half. What about the refereeing? The referee is an absolute joke, although I think he's trying to make amends at times as well. So, yeah, we're all second half. Second half of Cardiff, off comes Rob Glass, and he's been working hard, and on comes uh, Gary Medin. If Gary scores well on the pitch as usual. And then uh, Danny Ward is also coming on for uh, Josh Murphy. Now Josh Murphy has had a pretty poor game, let's just say. He really hasn't been able to get in into the match at all. And he just played across in there and uh, went really far wide. So, really good substitution by uh, Neil Harris there. Yeah, we needed something up. And I think it was really happening. So, uh, hopefully, even that first one by Ward there was. Uh, more energetic than uh, some other people have been doing this afternoon. Third and final set for Cardiff. Off comes uh, Mendes like he's going to write today. Third and final set for Cardiff. Off comes Mendes like he's going to write today. Third and final set for Cardiff. Off comes Mendes like he's going to write today. Third and final set for Cardiff. Off comes Mendes like he's going to write today. Third and final set for Cardiff. Off comes Mendes like he's going to write today. Third and final set for Cardiff. Off comes Mendes like he's going to write today. Third and final set for Cardiff. Off comes Mendes like he's going to write today. Okay, so that's the end of the match. Nil-nil in the end. Hard to say if we played well or not, really. Some parts we, we were really good, other parts terrible, but what do you think? Yeah, nil-nil against the third, um, well, Preston third in the table at the moment before the three o'clock kickoff. So, uh, yeah, I suppose on the balance and play, yeah, a draw was a fair result. I think Preston had the majority of the shots. Um, Cardiff couldn't really... Um, create too much. I know there was um, Tomlin's shot in the first half and and he almost had that sort of chip or lob of the keeper as well in the in the dying stages as well but uh, for all Cardiff's bluster trying to get forward just couldn't carve anything out and found Preston really hard to break down. Um, yeah just a tight affair one of those sort of championship matches which is nil nil so I suppose a fair point for and I expect both teams would probably be fairly pleased with that. You'd say my man of the match today. There weren't too many standout performances for Jazz Richards slotted in at left back. Okay, I thought Peltier had a good game, but I think 
I'm just going to give it to Bakuna, just. Oh, interesting. He had a good game in the middle of the park. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought Bakuna was particularly solid as well. Peltier, got to be up there as well, but... Yeah, lots to build on, especially and with the injury crisis that we're sort of in as well, you could say. Um, things can only go on the up if we if we look at our mistakes and improve on them really but moving on to boxing day against Millwall that's going to be interesting to see what happens there see who's back available see if Morrison will play in that one well he won't because he's um, banned isn't he before it was only one match no three matches oh three matches well yeah. definitely not then it'll be interesting it's Neil Neil Harris's well first match of the season Neil Harris played Preston and he beat him 1-0 going back and then on boxing day now uh, Cardiff Millwall is old, is old club. Old but club yeah. I'm expecting another, another tough, oh, tough be match because uh, Millwall are on a good run themselves. Yeah, that's what I'm concerned about. Millwall playing really well at the moment, uh, and we just got to match that, match that performance. Really, maybe Bamber will be fit uh, by the weekend. And where was Bennett as well? Or should I say by Boxing Day? Where was Bennett? I don't know. He's probably um, well. He, he needed. I think he needed a rest. You can yeah. See that. But anyway, gotta wait until wait and see till then. Hopefully, we can uh, get a victory because we haven't been on the greatest run. I think we've dropped seven points in the last three matches or something. Yeah, but it's been tough opposition, hasn't it? You've got yeah. The likes of Leeds, Brentford, who are um, superb football inside, and uh, Preston, who've, who they're in third position. So. Indeed. So we, really, we just gotta wait and see what uh, happens with Millwall and. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like, and if this is the first ever video you see my million, please do consider hitting that subscribe button to see some more super cool content like this. Follow all my social medias in the description below, and I will see you all next Merry time. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas against Millwall. Oil Valor.